The Australian government's under pressure to knock back Sri Lanka's nominee for its top diplomatic post in Canberra. Australia's Tamil community has accused the former chief of the Sri Lankan Navy of involvement in war crimes towards the end of Sri Lanka's civil war. In the final stages of Sri Lanka's long and bloody civil war in 2009, government forces pounded Tamil fighters in the northeast. Aid groups say civilians were deliberately targeted. Thousands were killed and hundreds of thousands of ethnic Tamils fled the violence to emergency camps. At the time, Thisara Samarasinghe was second in charge of the Navy. The Sri Lankan Navy actively stopped the uh, Red Cross from coming onto the shore to evacuate um, injured civilians. Shelling took place from ships that were um, offshore and they were shelling uh, civilian locations. He's now resigned as Chief of the Navy and Sri Lankan media reports say he's been nominated as Colombo's next High Commissioner to Australia. Local Tamils want the Australian government to reject the nomination. If this diplomatic post is accepted, Australia indirectly is helping protect this individual who will get diplomatic immunity against any war crimes investigations. And the Tamil community will feel very much betrayed by our, our own government. The Sri Lankan High Commission in Canberra isn't commenting. Australia's Foreign Minister Kevin Rudd avoided a question on the issue, instead offering this written statement. The Australian government does not comment on nominations by foreign governments to their missions in Australia. The Australian government has consistently called on the Sri Lankan government to ensure and guarantee long-term peace and stability in a united Sri Lanka which involves inclusiveness and a sustained commitment to reconciliation. Peter Donald, ABC News, Canberra.